hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new guys welcome welcome if you are one of my subscribers guys welcome welcome as you can definitely see guys today's look it's different I wanted to do something definitely different guys it is a recreation of a look that I saw but I kind of make my own twist change the colors because I was limited to the colors if you definitely want to see how I created this look all you have to do is just continue watching if you want to be part of the family please do subscribe comment and share my videos remember to hit that notification bell yeah see you in the next one bye guys hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new guys welcome welcome if you are one of my subscribers guys welcome welcome guys well guys basically here i'm just stating that i already have my eyebrows already prepped and my eyelids also well guys on this look it is a recreation um it's sort of like a recreation but at the same time it's sort of like a practice i saw this look about a week ago and i really liked it so i wanted to try it on i did practice it about i'm gonna say two to three times um on this week so i decided to record it and see how it will come out even though now that i'm editing the video i do see a few mistakes on the look but like i said guys i am learning i'm still learning um new techniques um i have been doing my makeup for a very long time but i am very um i always do the same looks so right now i'm just branching out and creating different eye looks so on this palette i am using an oldie but goodie palette it is from the bh cosmetic palette it's from the smoky palette and the first color that i'm starting off is with um a red color as you all know guys i really don't use red eyeshadows i'm sort of scared to use a red eyeshadow um because some red eyeshadows tend to bleed on um, whenever you kind of mix it with any um foundation or concealer depending on what type of eye look you are creating so right here i'm just blending in that um eyeshadow and also what i'm going to be doing is on the outer v i'm sort of going to be connecting it also um so basically what i'm going to be doing is it is a cut crease just on the middle just right on the crease i'm not gonna do the regular um cut crease that you wing it all the way out to your eyebrow i'm just gonna cut it like right on the crease right on the middle as you can definitely see, I always go in with my favorite blending brush. So this brush, it is a clean blending brush. I only use it just to blend. Um, I do keep a little rag here or a brush cleaner. And I do clean it in between eyeshadows also. So the second color that I'm going to go in just to darken up the crease or give a little bit more definition right onto the crease is going to be on the same palette um i'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush and i'm gonna start applying it right on the crease so what i did with the transition color guys i definitely blowed up the color all the way to my eyebrows um as you all know whenever i do blow up my um transition color i always leave a tiny space just to add a highlight but i'm not gonna be doing that guys because i'm gonna be placing the glitter like right in the crease or right in the middle of the eye look so i didn't want to um add another eyeshadow and take um i guess the look from the glitter or from what i was trying to create so right here i am just blending in again with my clean blending brush and i'm just blending blending all the way so once I finish blending here, I'm going to go in with my favorite um, concealer. It is from L'Oreal. This is a MAC concealer. But even though I go in with the um, concealer, guys, I'm going to go in with my 
micellar um, water and I'm gonna go in with a cotton swab and I'm gonna cut my crease um, and the reason that I'm gonna do it this way guys is because like I stated I'm not gonna go and cut my crease like I normally would do with a um, when cut crease so I'm just gonna do it like sort of like midway so on this part right here guys I was when I first started to create my first eye look I ended up um, bringing that wing a little bit down so here guys when I was cleaning the eyelid I had in mind to do the same thing from what I saw on the picture but guys I don't know if you're like me I have I'm the type of person that I do have something in mind and I want to create and then when I start um, not even recording even if I'm going out or something I have a look in mind and then when I do sit down I definitely change up the colors change up the look so right here I decided not to break out the wing like on the other eye so I decided to le leave it um I'm gonna say much up because I was gonna do something on I'm gonna say it's sort of like an eyeliner right on the lid but then I ended up changing my mind so that's why you're gonna see one a little bit higher than the other one yeah so at the last minute guys I definitely decided not to um do it so basically right here I just cut the crease like I would normally would do a cut crease so instead of winging it all the way guys I just let it midway and so it's basically I'm gonna say like a double cut crease so that's why I'm not bringing um, the concealer all the way um, and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be placing um, some glitter so the glitter that I'm gonna be using guys it's from Sally and also I'm gonna be using the glitter glue it's also from Sally guys so I'm just gonna take a oh before I even apply the glitter I forgot about this so I ended up applying of a neon you could say sort of like a neon um liquid eyeliner so you all know that a few months ago I bought a bunch of um, neon liquid eyeliners and I never used this one because the one that I kind of use the white one always um for me kind of came messed up or dry or something because every time I would apply it it definitely would mess up my look so I decided to go in with this baby blue color and just outline the um, where I cut my crease so right now I'm just applying the glue where I want my glitter to go so I'm just gonna be applying the glue so once I apply the glue instead of applying um I mean the glitter with the flat brush I'm gonna take the pointed and I'm gonna start applying it all over especially where I have the um, concealer on as you all can see so then once I have the glitter where I kind of want it or where I kind of feel that I'm satisfied with the glitter I am gonna go in with my concealer again and I am definitely gonna be cleaning that second part or you could say that second cut crease I'm gonna be cutting in that area and I'm gonna be blending that concealer all the way down to my eyelid so on this part right here, I'm going to be using, I think this is a Morphe brush that I got on my BoxyCharm a few months ago. So it is a very tiny, very flat brush. So I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetic Palette. It is another palette from BH. Um, this is the Brazilian palette. I really love this palette. The only thing is the eyeshadows are very um, powdery. So I ended up using a sort of like a mustard yellow on my inner corner and then I ended up going in with that dark um, orange. And then on that same palette I ended up going with that fuchsia pink. I am in love with that color. I really like the pigmented. Um, at the end where I have that um, pink what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blending brush or a small blending brush. 
um, and I'm gonna start applying that dark color from the other palette and I'm gonna start blending it in with the other colors okay guys so right here I'm gonna go again I'm gonna go again with the um, liquid eyeliner you could say so and I'm going to do the same thing right here in between the glitter and the colors. So I'm just going to be start marking off that glitter. Guys, and I'm like really excited. I'm like, to be honest, this is the first time that the glitter did not went all over my eyes. So I'm excited. I guess I did cut the my crease where it needed to be cut. So here I ended up using my LA Girl um, Pro Concealer in Yellow. Ended up using my favorite foundation from Pharmacy, the CC Cream in number 04. Uh, to highlight, I'm going to use my concealer from Pharmacy in Light Ivory number 03. Um, to set the areas that I highlighted, I'm going to go in with the loose um, translucent powder from Airspun. And to the areas that I did not use the translucent powder, I'm going to go in with my favorite um, BB cream. I mean BB powder from Pharmacy also. So for the blush, highlight, and bronzer, I'm using a palette that came in, in my BoxyCharm a few months ago. As you can definitely see, I love the bronzer on this palette. The blush is amazing, guys. And... And the highlight it is awesome i definitely recommend this palette it is amazing i do love it i as you can barely see i use it mostly on all my videos so right here guys i'm just um removing and blending that um well i am removing that translucent powder and at the same time i am blending the bronzer just making sure i don't have any harsh lines from the other brush I am applying that blush and then I'm gonna apply the highlight I'm going to be going out of camera and I'm gonna be applying my eyelashes uh, and I'm gonna be applying my sand mascara from pharmacy and I'm gonna be using one of my favorite matte lipsticks from pharmacy it is in number 25 and out of camera I ended up setting um using the setting spray to set my entire makeup so the eyelashes that i'm using guys it is from ebay that i got a few months ago also i think i got it when i bought the neon um, eyeliner and right here i'm just gonna use the brow gel just to set my brows well guys this is a complete look thank you for watching see you on the next one bye guys